Street, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things should be added unto you. Praise God. Oh, Lord, what a show yesterday. What a show. What a broadcast. Um, the first thing I want to do, and I, I didn't think I was going to do this, I'm going to apologize if I came off too rigid, too strong. I mean, we, we know, I just needed you to know. That, I mean, we have fought in a lot of different areas. I said, we as a nation, we as a people, I mean, we, we do these things we, with our kids and with our youth, and we think it's A-OK, -okay. and I'm just one of those cats, and I'm not sitting back no more. And I, I just urge all of you, don't take it. Don't sit back. Don't take it. Somebody's just playing games right around our youth, man, get serious. That's right. Get straight serious with them and let them know. This ain't no joke, man. We, our kids, need help. We already know all the negatives about what our kids are doing and the saggy bats and the this and the that and they're going to hell and, the, you know. Well, they're not on my watch. And that's all I want to let people know that, you know, we have to be accountable for the lack of things we don't do. And if we're going to be accountable for the great things that we do, you got to be at least mindful of the lack of things that you don't do. I'm just I'm just saying, okay? But we had a good broadcast. I'm glad I got a lot of that out. It's obvious that I had passion about it. But now I feel that it really takes a nation to help raise our, our children. We have been plagued. I mean plagued, ladies and gentlemen, with that simple-minded thinking. Okay, our mindsets are so small. We got to get them the bigger. I mean, we have that village mentality, and it's not enough anymore. We got to go national, international. It takes a nation. It takes a, a world. It takes a universe to really help raise our children. Are you kidding me? I mean, seriously, and I, I'm not trying to be hard. Just think about this. And, I, I, and when I hear those words, I'm not, I'm not taking it no more. Well, it takes a village to raise a child. No, it takes a whole nation to raise our children. Are you kidding me? We are at war. So the village people ain't, the village people ain't gonna help us anymore. The, 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 the world is bigger than the village. So it's going, to take, it's going to at least take a nation to help our children. It's the same mentality that you always hear when you hear, Oh, have the faith of a mustard seed. As long as you have the faith of a mustard seed. Well, when you're going to have the faith of a mustard tree? 
That's all I'm saying. At some point, our mentality, our thinking mechanisms, has got to kick in in a, in a way where we, we say, okay, this is too small. This is too small. We have to attack. We have to help our children by our own thinking processes. Now, I, 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 now I'm going to take it just a little bit further. And I'm telling you, even our adults need help. They are, I mean, we have, we have so much history. We, I think most of us do have an understanding that our youth is dependent on the adults. And if our adults are jacked up, right? If our adults are jacked up, I mean, so the, the support that we uh, that our youth need, it really, we need to really give some support to the parents. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I was talking to one of my business associates yesterday and uh, it was so weird because I, I, I told him that I seen what was going on and I decided I don't want to be like that. I, I want to make me some money because I could see the broke mentality that my family had. I could just tell. They didn't want anything. They didn't want nothing bit more than what they were getting. And, and they live like that to this day, a lot of my family members. Okay, they still live the same lifestyle that they lived when they were when I was a child. And he said, your conscious mind, you, you were so, your conscious spirit, your soul was so awake. I mean, I was so awake. You know, everybody's not built like that. Everybody's not born like that. You know, sometimes, you, you know, you got to come in somebody else's life and it wakes them up. It wakes them up. They say, oh my God, I've been living this meager existence for so many years. I'm only doing half the job. And I was just so aware of my surrounding, I watch my friends, I watch my neighbors. I said, there's no way. There's no way. I mean, God had put a special, special seed inside of me. This is the deal. This is why I'm so youth conscious. Because it's time to get them to explore the same seeds. I'm a mustard tree. And I'm ready to put some seeds out. I'm ready to spread this seed around because I need more trees just like me. We have some highly, highly conscious brothers and sisters in the community. And this is why, like uh, my man Keith, my man Keith, Gatlin, I mean, just the mindset, the world has been waiting for people like Keith to come along, to bless them. And that's exactly what's going to happen. He's going to start his own show. I think uh, one of my partners called yesterday, Rory Edwards, Rory T. Edwards. And he was having these, just all these complications with, with the media that he's with, the, the, the platform that he's on. And I just said, ask Mark. I mean, this is what, you know, I've seen my son grow in so many aspects. I mean, he's like one of my heroes to watch him just grow, grow with that, you know, technology piece. This is where the rubber meets the road. Technology is the key. We're going to reach so many more people. We need nation building people. If that's you, I want to hear you from you this morning. 404-286-6700. That's 404-286-6700. Anybody that know me know I will crack this 30 minutes in the head so fast it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm, of course, you know, I'm waiting for some callers, but I, I don't want to really dominate. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, I want to hear some comments on that because if we're going to help our children, we got to go national, international. There's no way we can have a village mentality and exist anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Our children are very astute. They're very informative. They're kind of wacko, okay? I, I got to say that. <laughs> Our kids are wacko. We already know this, but it's, it's because 
of the society and what is fed our children. I'm black or white, Chinese, doesn't matter. They're, all of them are messed up, okay? But they're smart enough to know when somebody's handing them a, a handful of cow manure. They, say they, they can say, oh, that's cow manure. You're trying to pass that on down to me. Okay, so we got to treat our, our youth. And this is the thing when I, I was on a talk show last night. We put so much energy into other things that when we now position ourselves to do it for the youth, we need the youth to educate the youth. And I'm talking about 30 year olds, 35 year olds. Some of them 35 year olds are still spongy. They still can, they, they know they have a worth, but they don't know what to do with it. But, but they're so valuable, they have all these, all these uh, gifts, so many gifts and talents that my job and all our job is, is to let these young adults know that you're responsible for the, uh, how we gonna, this, this, this uh, country is going to look like. Not in the next five years, in the next year. We can make a, we can make, I'm making a difference now. I'm not waiting five, ten years from now. Ten years from now, from now, it's going to be way better than what it is today. This is why I work so hard, so diligent in teaching people how, about how to recruit. Because the recruiting world is where it's at. I don't care what you say. When you got distributors and you got people, uh, young minds going out recruiting other young minds, that's the power. That's when, you know, you start seeing the glory. Okay, that's when you start seeing glory to glory. You know, I mean, because when you when you when you when you're trying to progress up upward, there's got to be a power greater than you lifting you up there. There's no way you can get up there by yourself. There's no way. It's virtually impossible. You got to have a higher power. Excuse me. Good morning, Colin. You're on the air. Good morning, brother man. Hey, what's up, big timer? What's going on, soldier? You already know. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> did, did you hear the? Did you, was you listening to the broadcast from the top? Absolutely. Come on, man. Tell me something. Am I? Am I just? Am I on a wish? Am I dreaming? Am I just handing out a pack of lies? What's going on with me? Why? What's happening? Hey, man. You know you you you're absolutely right on that because for, first of all, we we have to look at the amount of information that the kids are processing right now. Hmm. See, Lord, it must. And see, and the reason, the reason why you're absolutely right about it is going to take a nation to raise these children because they are processing information that's being fed to them on a, on a national and an international basis. Come on now. See, like you said, we got technology. We got the internet, man. It, it, it's no longer like it used to be back when you was a kid and I was a kid and people were limited to just what was happening in their environment, we had to write. We had to write a letter or make a phone call to get you yeah. the information. Right? Go ahead. Okay. That's right. So, so I mean, you know, people people are getting information pretty much real time, man. You know, something is happening. People whip out their phones. You know, they they mm -hmm. film it and then guess what? They upload it to the internet and instantaneously everybody is downloading and they got that information. They start to process and synthesize and spread the knowledge, man. You know, or, or, the, or, the so, or the garbage. That's right. Wisdom that's right. or garbage. You're going to get either one. That's right. But it is information, no matter how you cut that cake. No matter how you cut it. So, yeah, so our kids, you know, they're dealing with more. You know, so so parents, the, the parents have to be kept educating themselves with more than just what they know. Mm. Because, see, the parents have been left behind, but the kids 
I mean, they, they got so much more information, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to, to, to come back or to test the parent to see if the parent is, 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 uh, up, up on it. Up on it. Up on it. Up on Hey, hey, the parents are being tested, I, I mean, just immediately, I mean, daily, these youth can look, I guess what I say, they can, they know immediately if you're handing them a crockish crap, you know? That's right, that's right. And they'll call you lame in a minute, they say, you don't know what's going on, you don't, you don't understand. That's right. And they be right, too. In most cases, now if you're talking about how, you know, just growing up and going through the blues and all that, uh, you just don't understand, yeah, that may be, you know, a farce. But when you, you when kids are really going through some, some like you said, national, international stuff, and you're not up on it, you don't understand. Man, look, I, I was, I was, uh, I was meeting with a client the office, right? So we, we were just talking, and, uh, and you know, she brought her daughter with her, right? Mm -hmm. And I know she had been having problems with her daughter. Her daughter is about, about 14. That's the kid I told you about when she spent the night by one of her friends' houses yes. and didn't call her mom all yep. night until the next I remember day. that. You remember that? Yeah, I remember and she, that. She and she took, the mother kid. took the phone. Absolutely. And she brought the kid with her, right? But... That daughter watched the oldest daughter go through some things. And I told her a couple of years ago, I said, you know what? I said, you're going to have problems with that younger one because I said, she's watching you go through it with that older one. Monkey see, so, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey do. So, so now, you know, I was talking to her, and now, and now, now the older daughter, she has a kid now, and, you know, now, now the mama ripping and running with her, even though she was trying to tell her how things were going to end up, and now the mama ripping and running back with her, and she, I take care of her business, you know? Mm -hmm. And I told her, I said, let me tell you something. First of all, I said, you better take a stand on your life, right? It's good to it together. I said, you don't get your business together and stand for something? I think these kids, I said, they're going to burn you out, they're going to leave you in the ashes. and in the dark. Absolutely. Now, with nothing. But I said, you got to lead by example, sister. You know? And I said, I said, not saying, that, I, not saying when I was coming to the office, I said, I saw your daughter sitting in the phone with a phone. So I thought she took that phone. She said, I did. She said, that's my phone. What? Huh? Yeah. I, I said, why well, she you got your phone? I said, she need to be in there with a book. I said, better yeah. I said, so no shit have been. She was brought up in his office. Call back. Gave, gave me about 15, 20 minutes really to get up my life. Right? That's what I'm saying, man. You know, see the parents, they be too inconsistent, man. They be wishy washy. And then I told them, I said, see, that's what happens when you don't have a man in your life to bring some balance. Because when a man say no, no means no. no. You know, I like you, 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 you uh, go ahead, go ahead. Say that again. I said, someone needs to be able to draw the line. Someone needs to be able to say, well, you know, well, 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 the mother was there to draw the line. The yeah. mother still was there. She, like you said, no means no. My mother didn't play too much with me, you know? Mm -hmm. You got to be on top of your game. This is why kids know when you something wrong with you. They pick up on that and they don't let go. Hold, hold on, beloved. Hold on. I got another call. Call you on the air. Hey, sir, it's Trudy. Hey, Trudy. Hold on. Call and Trudy. Hey, Keith. That's Trudy, Trudy. That's Keith. Hey, Keith. How you doing? I'm doing great, babe. Good. Good mm. to hear you. Good to hear you. What's going on with you, Trudy? What's happening? Oh, not saying much. I was just listening into the show real quick. I just wanted to stop by and... Uh, to say, you know, hey to everyone and talk pick on the parents and, and kids and stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. I, I walk my kids to school in the mornings and, you know, coming back home, there's just a lot of kids that, really young kids walking by themselves. So that was one of the concerns of mine that, you know, I'm wondering 
you know, how do you let your young kids just walk home like that by themselves? Mm. You know there's a you know there's a lot of lions and jackals and stuff out there. How he is it? It's what? crazy, man. You know, there's just so much things that that can harm a child. They're young, as young as my children. Some of them are in their class, and you know, some have older brothers, which is probably like two or three years older, which are still not. And I just seen you know a lot of a lot of situations where kids are being abducted and kids are being taken away and. We're wondering, you know, why is it happening and, and why is these parents and why is these guys taking these kids? And it's kind of like you're putting your kids out there as meat for these lions. Yep. Fresh meat. Fresh meat to eat. You know, you know what they're from? Those, those are parents, right, for the most part, didn't plan to have children and didn't really want children. <laughs> you see? So now they're just doing things that they can, you know. I mean, they're just doing the bare minimum just to just to get by, you know, to, to, just to pretend like they're a parent, mm -hmm. you know, because they can't just fool me like them. But and nothing else, them kids are gonna go to school. You see, they out there, huh? They're gonna get dressed. They're gonna get up out that house, so the parent can do whatever it is that they want to do all day. It's just a babysitter. Mm -hmm. You know, it's bad. Yeah, I had one of my daughter's um, friends. She said to me, she uh, she said, uh, can I come over to your house? <clears throat> and I said, well, we have to ask your mom. She goes, oh, my mom won't care. She won't mind. She just, she wants someone to take care of me. She needs a break. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> and I just dream. laughed to myself. Oh, my I was dream. like, oh, my God. You know, it, you got to be careful what you say to your kids. And, and you're right. I heard you say that. And, you know, monkey see monkey, too, because... Your kids are out there saying these things to other people, and you're starting from young. I'm talking about the real young kids. They, they're very vocal, and you can hear exactly what's going on in the household if you talk to a child. What do you think going to happen to that to a child like that that get passed down, you know, all that information? Like uh, Keith said, they're processing all this information, and, they, and, and they're little poor little brains. That's why I, in my life, I seen so many things I should have seen. Oh my God! And they just put it on me. You hear me? They, not only did they put it on me, they put it in me. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah. And I regret. And I regret. And I regret. I mean, wait a minute. Hold on. Some kids and, it's for the good. Sorry. And some kids use it for the bad. And, and it affects some kids in different ways. But that's right. We can't say all cases that kids came out negative from seeing negative things. But, but let me tell you um, what I did. Let me tell you what I did. I regurgitated. So what I saw, I, I bought, it came out of me. It came out of me. But I only, I only thank God that yeah. I, that for my own spirit, there was something about my own spirit. And it was something that somebody like Keith said, and to me, he might say, somebody like Keith said something, or somebody like you, and I said, wow, that makes more sense than anything I ever, right? So I took that information, I said, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit better than what I'm doing. It wasn't for somebody else. Because I surely wasn't getting it all at the crib. I surely wasn't. So, so do this there, right? Let, let's basically pan... Let's scan the environment and let's look at what we're looking at, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And see, when, when you see what's going on in the community, mm -hmm. you know, one thing, like, like Brother Q always be talking about, hey man, it's an emergency right now. You were saying the other day too, Brother Mac, it's an emergency. We in a state of emergency with our Whoa. youth right now because mm -hmm. the devil is busy. He is running rapid. Mm -hmm. So, so to answer that question, what do you think is going to happen to them, sure? Boy, you know one thing: the devil. We better recruit because the devil showed up. Recruit. He's on his. He's on his job. He's on his job. Hey, I, I, I think I got it. So, go ahead. Go ahead. What's this? No, I just one thing I want to add to that is you know, especially I'm in technology, and this one I saw something really interesting the other day online on Facebook actually. Um, from a Facebook carrier, I think it was black activists, they were showing the youth uh, in the high schools and colleges, the, the male youth who are now, you know, impersonating females and dressing like females, 
um, they Sorry. had this male youth, and um, he was in Scurrus and No Belly at Top, and they had a rap song. And it is just too explicit to even explain right now, but we need to also conquer um, media and, and spread it. Real news, you know, the truth, and trying to get this youth <laughs> well, I mean, and showing them what they're doing isn't right. That's the only way we're going to catch up. We got to have programming like this. But we got to get, how many times I said to you, Trudy, man, you got to start your own show. I know, I know. I, I mean, I've been thinking about it more now than they, than ever, but you're right. You're so right on that because, well, let me use, you know, you might get yourself in a lot of hot water just, just going against some of these things, these, these topics. Yeah, but they get, but you they know? get, hey, but the, the devil get his point across. Oh, he sure does, and you know, it's okay. You know, he try to get your point across. You know, you get yourself in a few legal matters or a few rumbles or something of the sort, but, you know, it's still it's still up to um, new activists and new leaders like yourself, myself, yeah. Keith, you know, anyone who's in this era of thinking to just yes, start telling these youth and start having different different groups that they can join because it, if you check online, there's a lot of interesting things going on and it's, <clears throat> we shouldn't, we, we try to take ourselves away from it because we don't want to see it. But if you have kids and you have youth involved and you want to be involved with the youth, you've got to get right in there. You know, kind of like walking in the pits of hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have uh, to get right in there. Let me tell you something, man. The, you, uh, you said it right there, the pits of hell. But that's where the action is. <laughs> that's where the action is, boy. <laughs> that's exactly what we're That's what we're fighting is. for. we, we got to go into the pit. Because that's where the action's at. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, check this out. Yes. Trudy, I appreciate you. We're gonna, but we're doing a part two yes. tomorrow. We'll do a part well, two. You have a great day. You, you all too. Keith, y'all have a good one and get at me. Uh, yes, Give me a call. Yes, man. 678-651-7626. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Okay, you go ahead. Hey, Keith, God bless you. you. Hey, man, thank you. We're going to do part two tomorrow, so, you know, but it's going to probably be you and the Q show tomorrow, because I know he wants to chime in. Oh, I know they do. This is why I'm doing this event on April the 19th. I'm going to encourage everybody, if you can drive down here, if you can fly down here, come down. It's customer appreciation, but we're doing an event for the youth, me and Q. Well, and, and, um, and, and it's just going to be, to me, one of the greatest things that I have ever, ever done in my life. Okay. Project Keep Them Off the Streets is on it, and I'm on it, and that's that's what we're doing. We're doing recovery, and we got to get out of the recovery business and get into the blessing business. That's it. You know, we got to be proactive, not reactive. I don't want to recover every time somebody goes to jail or somebody's dying. We got to try to catch up to get it. No, we need to bring our people up to speed right now. What do you think about that? Absolutely. We definitely do. And you know what, man? We ain't got no time to be scared. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no time to be scared. We ain't got no time to be being bullied. There's so, so, so many parents, man, so many elders in the community that are being bullied by the youth because they just don't know and they won't stand. That's it. You see what I'm saying? Yep. You know, it's like they're scared. But it's, they're scared to give the youth a good word. I'm not saying okay. you got to be handling the children. In a crazy way, but guess what? As, as an elder in the community, you got to be able to say, Come here, brother, sister, let me tell you something. Now, you don't know what you're doing. You, you really don't know where you're headed at, but I'm going to tell you where you're headed if you keep that up. Absolutely. But, but tighten, tighten yourself up, like you said. Put your pants up and tighten your belt up, man. That's it. And get, 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 get some, some respect about yourself. Absolutely. And that's what April the 19th is going to be about. A lot of that's going to come out, and I think the children that are going to be there, they're going to catch heed. I guarantee you the parents are going to be there. They're going to catch heed, and then we can go in the right direction that we're going. That's it. Up. That's right. Not down. Praise God. Hey, man, I appreciate you, Mr. Keith. You have an awesome Thank day, you. man. I'll talk to you a little later today. Okay, Peace and blessings. And I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Yes, yes, indeed. Let me see where we at here. Yes, Lord. If you really believe it.
Yes. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to have a second. We're going to have a five two of this tomorrow. So God bless you. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to share this. We got more followers now. 50 followers. So we